So, in today episode, I will show you how to sleep with Janet, as well as how to sleep for katana. Okay, you, do, you don't need katana. To, to, if you don't have axe, you can get katana here, and I highly recommend getting melee weapon that doesn't suck ass, which is axe or katana. Otherwise, reward. Spiritual release. You have journey ocean, yes. So, since we did all the hard work with uh, House of Horrors and we have nice pendant uh, for my lady, I will show you how to fuck Janet. So, first thing you must do is when you meet her for the first time, I basically took the mean and meanest but not ending conversations option. So, if that makes sense. I mean, I was complete dick, no flip, nothing. You, you can probably flip with her, but why would I? I play as woman, by the way. Which may also be relevant or not. Don't care. Anyway, fucking time. I, I hope I nail it first try because I don't know. Uh, also, let me fucking have uh, save. I need operational save in case I fuck up. So we have pendant, but there is only Janet. There is not the second woman. I wonder why. Uh, not even a knock. I could have been undressing, and who mm. knows what I would have had to do to you. You're here to see Her Royal Majesty Queen Victoria, aren't you? So now uh, you can choose option three. Really. Do I often pogo stick through your thoughts wearing nothing but a smile? Be honest. Or don't. And here you take what feet What all suede kittens do. On hands and knees you lap up the milk of me. And we purr, kitten. Like dragonflies buzzing around frog bellies. So, Therese told me you might be back with something for her. Do you have it with you? I'm not just some silk. She's always built. Uh. Do you understand what it's? Fine, you hold on. Uh. The Do you know Gallery Noir down the street? I happen to know there's a... The whole event's been set up oh, by sorry, a kindred I didn't trying speak. to establish their own power click in our city. And we can't let that happen, can we? So I need some brilliant young upstart to spoil the milk. <laughs> I promise this won't take long. Take this knife. Give the paintings in the gallery a good slashing. Don't get caught and don't turn it into a massacre. And steal the charity box, would you? So here, and you can say I'm not going to steal charity money. It's not what you think. Every pretty penny dropped in that box is going right into some other kindred's purse. You'd be cooking from a dirty steal. I'm sure Therese will be thrilled to honor your agreement when you get back. But in the meantime, get to the museum and ruin those paintings. <laughs> then pay me a visit. I want to hear all about it. Hurry up! I can only amuse myself for so long. So now you have to take flirting option. Oh well, it's a little different, but entirely possible. Come sit next to me on the bed. I'll show you. And he got what he wanted. Okay, now biggest challenge. This elevator can basically uh, cringe itself and stuck. 
А, без секунды на файл. I'm going to slash the painting real quick instead of loading saves. Ow. So if you have Malkavian or Tremere or someone, you can do funny stuffs here. But since I don't have Malkavian or Tremere or someone, we can only do basic stuffs here. You need uh, four level four of uh, functional fucking brain, but also level four of persuasion would be useful. Okay, here you wanna choose persuasion option if you have persuasion huh? four. What call are you talking about there, Missy? And who might you be then, Missy? Uh, here you wanna took uh, I am museum director assistance. Yeah. Look, uh, uh yeah, yeah, that's right. I mean, who would file a forty five B? Everyone knows about forty five B. Yeah, everyone anyway, knows. Uh, Thank you, no. So he now opened the door for me. Okay. Since you know that charity box is a fucking fraud, you can do this. I just wanted to regenerate myself a little. Okay, so here you wanna sing. It's very important to sing in this situation, so I wanna keep saving on that save. You Me. what were you thinking? I... The museum! That was my event! Did you think I wouldn't find out? I... Shut up! I thought I could control my sister as long as tongue was out of the picture, but nothing's changed. I should have expected that you'd succumb to Jeanette's influence like all the others, but how dare you! <laughs> Jeanette claimed you did it for her, but that's sad to leave you. After all, you've acted decently and rationally up to now. I imagine you'd still like me to call the feud. Excellent! I'll take that. However, there's only one problem. If Tongue gets word that I threatened Jeanette, which he most certainly already has, it's not likely he'll believe me. So, in order to call off the feud, you're going to have to convince Jeanette to forgive me first. So now you wanna see option two. I made some threats against my sister. Idle threats, involving fire and her impious sad sheets. She took them quite seriously, and is avoiding me. I want to meet with her and explain that they were said in the heat of the moment. I asked her to meet me at the Surfside Diner to reconcile, but I'm busy with the club and my other endeavors. I'd like you to go to the diner and promise her that I don't plan to take any action against her. Wait for her in the back booth, near the phones. For all her unwholesome diversions and irritating disruptions, I should be less tolerant of her. She is my sister, however, and I suppose I'm obligated to forgive her her trespasses. I did desire her after all. Please, be quick about it. We have to enjoy the murder. So, now you get assaulted in the diner. Surprise. You want to have presents hey, and potions. If you play as good ra good race, if you play as bad race, then you have to pick for yourself. You wanna eat last one? Because free blood. 
here is gun for you. Sometimes you cannot get this gun. So apparently Janet is in trouble. Seem for both beaches. You. I'm really sorry it had to end this way. I truly am. You seem promising, but you've been tainted by the stink of my sister's schemes. And now, now I'm, I'm going, going to make sure, sure she never double crosses me again. Don't, Don't listen to her. She'll, She'll kill us both. Save, save me and I'll help you find Bertram. Bertram. I swear. Shut up, Jeanette. I warned you to stay away from Tom. He's, He's turned you against me. me. I've always looked out for you. But you couldn't stand my success. You, you had, had to meddle, meddle, didn't you? I didn't want it to end like this. But you forced me. I wasn't sticking my fingers in anyone's pie, dear sister. Of course you weren't. Just like you weren't working with him. Is it any different than the way you treated father? Father? Oh, Therese. You poor dear, dear. I treated father exactly the way he deserved to be treated. And he treated you like that. You don't say a word about Bob. Your heart still belongs to Daddy after all these years, eh, sister? At least he loved me. You take that back, you bitch! You never gave me any credit for anything, Therese. I was the one calling the shots. Bertram was dancing on my leash. How does it feel to know that I beat you? So you wanna say blue option? I'm about to rid the night of this deviant, backstabbing whore! You realize that despite her condition, she still fornicates with kind, no less. How is that even possible? I would never fornicate. Or should I say daddy's little girl? Do you want to know just how deep I would never believe no. that be? Shut up, Jeanette. Do you love the world to think you're a saint? When you thought I was asleep, I used to hear father come in at night. I heard him whisper how much he loved you in your ear before he don't finish that sentence or you're dead. So you don't wanna force it. As long as you have fucking blue options, you just take fucking blue options. You you could ask Janet for more backstory. Don't you wanna hear what happened? How she became the pillar of the community she is today? Shut up! Just shut up! I mean Don't try and stop me. I've had to overlook her treachery. Her seduction, relations with my enemies, and the consequences of it. I won't endure her any longer. Endure me? Dear sister, you've done everything you could to smother me. You love to bury me in your closet, along with all your other skeletons. I'm the good girl. You're the wicked one. You've done nothing but plot against me, when I had our best interests at heart. And despite that, I've always covered up your mistakes. I've taken care of you. And this is how you repay me? Taking care of me. You've, You've done, done nothing, nothing but keep me down. down. Blame, Blame me for every mistake. Did, Did you expect me to let you rule my life until the end of time? time? No, sister. You've, You've had it coming since our last sunrise. sunrise. Is that right, dear? If it wasn't but for me, you, know you would have never funny. survived this long. Remember? They tried to separate us, but I refused. I chose this life and brought you into it so that we could stay together. Obviously, you've forgotten. Despite same voice actress and same body, you can still believe that there are two different personalities. She's a control freak. People, things, emotions. If she can't control something, she gets rid of it. And you're a wild animal. You'll rub up against anything that'll take you in for the night. Then when you're stuffed and bored, you bite the hand that fed you. I don't think that's possible. How could I ever think to trust her again? Trust me? Who could trust you after what happened with Father Dearest? Father loved me. I was a good girl. I always did what I was told. You always hated him. <laughs> I love You disobeyed her. him. You brought men home when he wasn't there. You were an awful daughter to him. Father came home drunk one day and mistook me for Therese. Because I'd fallen asleep in her bed. Don't listen to her. She's lying. Therese walked in while he was there and she saw me lying with him and so she went to the closet and pulled out his hunting shotgun, loaded it with deer shot and blew his mind out all over the silly clown wallpaper. That's a lie. Father killed himself because of Jeanette. She made him miserable. As I recall, he died with a smile on his face. 
<sighs> Why? How will this time be any different? Um, now you want to select option three. Therese doesn't like to share. Jeanette's irresponsible. She's undependable. A venture like mine requires class and distinction. Which is something a pigtail face painting harlot does not lend very well. You do have a way with words, sister. You're right. I'm not in the same class, am I? I mean, murderers are so respectful these days. More responsibility. So that she can ruin every opportunity I give her? Of course. You're the only one who can secure zoning permits and shake hands. I'd never be able to keep up. But I only do it for attention and out of love. You do it because you're vindictive and jealous and you deserve it. She would stop treating me like a child if she would start behaving like a rational adult. Yes, there was a time. When I was a child, I didn't have many friends. I suppose Jeanette was the only one. We never did get to go out of the house much. She might be a bit of projection. So we stayed inside and we imagined our own worlds. And we spent so much time there together, ruling over those places. Those were happier times before we grew apart. Mm -hmm. I never did. No, I guess I don't. Jeanette, if I were to give offer you equal control in Santa Monica, would you quit consorting with Tom? I'll stop working against you with him. But since I've got him in my pocket already, there's no reason for me not to pay him a little visit once in a while. When he can be of use, that's not a bad plan. There's just one more thing. I want to be in charge of Santa Monica, but only publicly. I want you to continue to convince others that our relations are strained. That way, we know who our enemies are. I agree. Take it. I hate to look at it again and think of what almost transpired. I suppose now that Jeanette and I have settled our differences, I'll call off the feud with Tom. Bertram's hiding in an empty oil tank at the old gas station. I'll tell him to expect a visitor, and I'll ask him to be extra nice. Please give Santa Monica's regards to the prince. And keep your tongue tied about what happened tonight, or we'll have to kill you. Yeah. So that's it. By the way, you can you can completely leak uh, leak that shit all over the place. So yeah, we basically saved both sisters, as you saw, and we slept each other, so that was cool. I don't know how much of this material I would have cut, but thanks for watching.